So before we dive into this cherry Bakewell Swiss roll, what are the chances that when we cut it, it is going to look that neat? What do you reckon? I will be as gentle as I can when I cut it, and we'll see if it comes out that neatly. I'm saying it's about 40% chance it won't look as good as that. Well, I have to say, I think I've been proved wrong. Look, I am amazed. I'm amazed at how neat the swirl is on the Swiss roll. Really, really neat. Not as picture perfect as that, but it's a really good effort. That's like 95% spot on. Let's have a taste. So this, this is new at Asda. It's a Cherry Bakewell Swiss roll, as we've said. And it just says swirled with sweet plum and raspberry jam and an almond and cherry flavour filling. So it's your basics, cherry bakewell flavour, and you can see that it's not just jam in there. With the cream, there's that almond and cherry flavour. And it has got that familiar bakewell tart type smell. I like a bakewell tart, I like anything almondy sort of flavour. And I think this for a Swiss roll could be a winner. I can't see how it can fail, especially looking at how neat it is. Where does Swiss roll originate? I did mean to Google it before recording, but I forgot. But anyway, it's got to be Switzerland, hasn't it? It's got to be Switzerland. Anyway, let's see if it tastes like Bakewell as much as it smells like it. Mm. It does. You shut your eyes. And there's nice jam flavour, there's nice almond flavour, there's a little bit of cream in there. It could maybe do, I know Swiss roll, the actual sponge bit, I think is it a, a Genoese sponge or is it a, a Jaconde or something? It's just a flat, it's not your normal Victoria sponge made thin. It's a special type of sponge. I've seen enough Bake Off to know which one it is, but I can't remember the name. So it is, can be a little bit dry. And I think because they got so neat, the reason it's so neat is because there's a lack of creamy filling. There's plenty of jam and it's lovely almondy flavour. But I think it needs a little bit more cream. Personally, there's nothing stopping you putting a blob of cream on top of that yourself, is there, at the end of the day? But it is very nice. That's I'm taking away. It's, it's not horrible by any means. I really, really like it because I like cherry bake well anyway. Um, I just personally think that there's probably too much jam, needs a little bit of cream to balance out the sweetness. If you like balancing out the sweetness, you can balance out by helping this channel by clicking like and subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate all of our subscribers. Thank you very much for clicking those buttons. If you do decide after watching this video to click those buttons, we thank you again on the Adam and Bell YouTube channel project. I can't remember what we're going by these days.